When the Sony ZV-1 was first announced, it was announced as a vlogger camera. However, one of its biggest shortcomings was the focal length, meaning it just wasn't that wide enough to create vlogs with, and a lot of people weren't that happy, including ourselves. However, with this wide angle lens attachment that you can get for $50, does this make the ZV-1 now the perfect point and shoot camera for vlogging this year? Let's get into it right now. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Altakori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do YouTube strategy videos as well as tech gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now let's jump into some tests and comparisons when it comes to using this wide angle lens on the ZV-1. So this is the standard shot on the Zoni ZV-1. No extra lenses, no nothing. I'm about arm's length distance from the camera. And you know, this is what you get, 24 millimeters. It's okay, I'm using the onboard mic. Um, and I think uh, some people this works for, but let's see how it looks with the wide angle lens on it. All right, so now we got the Ulanzi wide angle lens hooked up to the ZV-1. I'm still arm's length distance. Um, I think what's cool is definitely how much more you see. Um, and you know, I don't think quality is sacrificed at all. And what's cool is I can actually bring the, the camera closer to my mouth or to my face and audio is gonna sound a little bit better because it's just closer, but then you're still getting the field of view. But if I really start, you know, if I extend my arm, I can really show you uh, the vibes and the setup of all that's happening. So this is with the wide angle lens. So this is not necessarily a shot of me walking around, but sitting down, talking to the camera. Um, but nonetheless, I think it'd still be nicer if you could see more behind me. I know the ZV-1 has great image quality. You can see the background's a lot blurry, but throwing on the wide angle lens, let's see how that looks. So this is how it looks with the wide angle lens on the camera, um, but just to see how much more you get, um, you know, being this close to the camera, but getting this much field of view compared to the last shot without it. So those were some of the tests when using the Ulanzi wide angle lens on the ZV-1, but I wanna know from you in the comments what you thought. Did you uh, notice a difference? I personally noticed a big difference, especially when you start marking your screen and then you throw the lens on top of it, you start seeing like, oh, it really is including more around you. And I, and I, I would assume at like 50 bucks that it probably wouldn't you know, keep the sharpness of the ZV-1 and by all means, the sharpness is all throughout the image. And so I think it's a pretty high quality piece of uh, gear that you can get if you have the ZV-1. But if you're using the ZV-1 to vlog with, I think it's a no brainer and here's a few reasons why. The first reason is kind of subtle, but it's audio. So when vlogging, you're typically about arm's length distance from the camera and if uh, you have a you know tight a tighter lens you'll you'll be more inclined to holding the camera further away which then in turn is taking away the microphone from the camera further away from your mouth and so just on a psychological standpoint i now can hold my zv1 a little bit closer and still get a lot more field of view but my audio because it's closer to my mouth will sound better the second reason I think this is a no-brainer upgrade is because one of the flaws of the ZV-1 is that there isn't any stabilization unless you turn on active steady shot. And the reality is when you turn on active steady shot, it then crops in a little bit more, therefore making it a little bit even more of a tighter shot. And so you're not really losing too much zoom. And I would even say that when throwing this on and having the active steady shot on, it actually is about 24 millimeters when you take into consideration that crop. So now if you are vlogging and you have active steady shot on, you're getting more smooth of an image, but you're not compromising on too much of a crop, which is super awesome. As far as this lens goes, this comes in at about 4.2 ounces. So it does add some weight to your ZV-1. Personally, I don't think it's that much weight that it affects your strength and you know you don't get you know fatigued because you have this lens on it so i don't think it's that much of a difference the second thing and i didn't mention it up until now but this actually comes with a macro lens so it's actually kind of like two pieces um, you first have your wide angle lens which can screw on top of the macro lens but if you really wanted to get super close up macro shots depending on whatever you do or what kind of content you make and you want to show detail of something really small this macro lens will allow you to do that and you can get really close to something and it still be in focus, which is cool. However, when it comes to vlogging, I'll definitely just probably keep the wide angle lens on uh, just because that's what I want it for. And it does come with a cap, so it's nice to just you know cover it when you're done using it or what have you. 
As far as installation goes, the first thing you're actually gonna put on the ZV-1 is the adhesive thread mount. So this just goes on top of the lens and you just line it up, you know, and then stick it, let it sit for a little bit, kind of press down and you're essentially good to go. Now I would say I haven't tested this in like the harshest conditions. I don't know if the Vegas heat, which is where I live, would like de-adhesive the lens onto this camera. Um, I don't think it'll do that because it does seem pretty sturdy on there. And they include some more adhesive in the pack. I, I would guess if it does do that, so you can clean it up and reinstall it. But it's a pretty simple install as far as putting that on, letting it sit for a little bit, and then screwing on the lens and you're ready to go. All in all, I definitely think this wide angle lens is such a clutch uh, accessory when it comes to the ZV-1 because for vlogging, you definitely want a little bit more of that, you know, background behind you to show off and, um, and also the audio benefits you get from it and things like that. But we'll post links down in the description below on some other accessories as well as this lens. There's just all, all these cool accessories when it comes to the ZV-1 and we'll post our best recommended ones as well as a video we did on the best recommended accessories for the ZV-1 and you can check that out by clicking or tapping the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.